Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. This time of the year, pumpkins are very abundant, whether you go to a pumpkin farm or your local grocery store. I thought we would draft a couple of them in this tutorial. On the home screen, select Design a Block from Scratch. Select a new block, Pieced, Easy Draw Block. In the Precision Toolbar, change the block width and height to 6 by 6. Set the snaps at 12 by 12. That means we'll snap every half inch. And snapping options should be just snap to grid. With the Line tool, draw a horizontal line at 1 and a half inches. And then for the section on the bottom, we are going to draw one inch triangles in each of those corners. Essentially, that means we could piece these with one and a half inch squares using a folded corner technique. And for a stem for our pumpkin, let's draw vertical lines for the top segment at two and a half and three and a half. Select the Color tab and color this. And add to Project Sketchbook. So that's a basic pumpkin. Now let's create a more interesting foundation piecing friendly pumpkin. And we're going to use this same pumpkin as a base. Select the Draw tab. For snapping options, we're going to switch from Snap to Grid to snap to lines and arcs. And I like to bring down the number of snaps now that I'm no longer going to be using those. And I'm going to set those at four by four, which is the smallest number possible. Now we're going to draw a series of lines that connect up two existing lines. When drawing a line that connects to a line inside the block, we're going to extend slightly over that line. The extended line gives us more flexibility in terms of editing without creating added nodes. Stopping at a line creates a node immediately at that line, and then every time we move it, we end up with an extra node. Draw additional lines following that same rule, making sure we will ultimately only connect two lines in this section. If you follow this rule, we will be able to piece the bottom of the pumpkin block as one foundation. Once that's done, if you go to Color, and then we can go to Print and Export and select Foundation. And you can see we have two sections, which is what, what we want. So I'm going to close that because I have one other idea. What if we drew a little bit of a slanted line over the stem as well? Now on the Color tab, I want to add some additional oranges that are similar to the orange we have. And I've got a little bit of a tip for you on that. So under Thread Tools, we're going to select Open Library. And select, first of all, the current sketchbook and select the orange that we are using. Then do a search by color. Notice that EQ is using as their starting point the orange in the fabric that we just selected. Now I like to check all to select any fabric libraries that I have and select search, followed by OK. Now I can pick and choose or I can be lazy and do a select all, add to sketchbook, and if it already is in the sketchbook, EQ will not let me add it again, which is great. So I'm going to select OK and close. Select the paintbrush and recolor the block using a variety of fabrics. I did choose to work with more of the monochromatic prints, 
but I did like using a variety of both the reddish orange along with the yellow oranges in the pumpkin. So I will do an add to project sketchbook. And now if I do a print and export and select foundation, I can go ahead and do a preview and you can see we have the two sections all ready to piece. Thanks so much for watching. If you are just starting to explore Electric Quilt, check out my introductory class, Shoot for the Stars with Electric Quilt 8. Or are you ready for a deeper dive? Check out the Techno Quilter membership.